Hello guys, this is Ryan and you're watching the Aquamaniacs. As you can see that the goldfish at the back portion of the aquarium and it's unable to swim properly because it's having swim bladder issues and it was all also suffering from a mild dropsy a few days back but I have removed some liquid from it and I'm going to show you how I actually treat my goldfish or treat my fishes suffering from dropsy and swim bladder issues there are few ways to do this and many of you people may be thinking that there is no cure for dropsy that is com completely wrong there is a cure if uh, you know a uh, organ has enlarged or has inflammation and over the time the inflammation does decrease but if it had a tumor or some or something like that then in those cases dropsy is hard to treat but dropsy is basically uh, you know uh, it could be tumor enlargement inflammation of some uh, internal organs kidney liver etc and you know it goes and affects the swim bladder issue as well and the fish cannot swim doesn't eat and is unable unable to maintain balance or buoyancy okay so you can read about that on the wikipedia i don't want to keep this video too long i'm just going to tr show you guys how to treat it and what i do to treat it and how it works for me i have uh, goldfish in the past having the sim uh, symptoms and problems and they have recovered successfully so I'm going to try it on this fish and I cannot give you 100% guarantee on it that it will definitely work for everyone but yes follow the steps and hopefully your goldfish will recover okay so let's get started without any delay okay so let's get this fish out actually let's catch it we're not going to take it out because I'm going to show you all the easy way how I do it so let's get it okay so the first thing that you have to do is there's nothing to be nervous about because you're trying to save a fish's life over here if you don't do anything about it just keep in mind the fish is going to die anyways and there's no harm caused by doing this process if you do it perfectly okay so let's get started so we're going to take the fish hope you guys can see yeah you can see the eyes has gone white has turned white over there and that is a sign of internal parasite and bacterial infections and this is from the inside not from the outside so i will treat it with metrogel later on the video stay tuned don't skip you'll miss out the important parts so this is a saline tubing guys this is a saline tubing okay it's just a thin transparent pipe which uh, they give humans saline you can get in a medical store anywhere so get this tubing it's nice and soft and it doesn't damage the fish so we will get this and we will try to take out some air or liquid which is trapped inside the fish because many times what happens is sometimes the fishes don't suffer from dropsy and swim bladder issues it's just air trapped inside of the fish while consuming food so let's try that if anything comes out We'll put it in nice and slow the body of the fish has to be straight guys here we go it's in the fish okay now we will put a little pressure on the stomach stomach region to see if there's any liquid or anything coming out mild pressure nothing much okay Let's get rid of this air bubble. The fish is fine. Okay. There we go. You can see the fish is completely fine, guys. There's the fish there. Now we will try to apply a bit more pressure. Okay. Since there was not much air trapped in it but yeah definitely some liquid is there inside but very less so usually they use this method in hand spawning so let's just rub the belly portion slight pressure on both sides you can see mild pleasure pressure this actually you know helps the bubble escape from either sides of the fish and you know definitely if there's any imbalance in the organ or you know whatever it is 
but make sure the stomach is not too bloated and don't put too much pressure if it's that's the case because you might end up killing a fish so you can see the stomach is not too bloated so i am doing this process mild pressure to release any liquid out from the anal portion sometimes the liquid does come out but you cannot see it so we are doing that that's it fish is alive okay no harm done to the fish now this will definitely help in the internal parasites and uh, healing of the fish guys there's a medication that you need to purchase it's called metrogel yes metrogel 400 mg okay okay so we are going to give quarter of this tablet as you can see i have broken a small piece of it and that's how much i'm going to give it and deworm it with i have already li uh, liquid in this syringe and the medicine mixed up and you can see it's very liquidy it's not to it's not to you can see uh, very thick or anything there is medicine settled down on the bottle bottom over here so i'm just going to give it a shake okay make sure there's no air in the syringe we want to get every bit of air out okay so now we are going to give just this much to the fish just this much okay so here we go here's the syringe we will inject a bit in the water okay that's the medication just open up let the fish open up and just insert it slow and steady you will feel the grinders of the goldfish in the back end and when you feel those grinders those real teeth where they actually chew their food that is the portion where you have to insert it or just keep it jammed over there and you know the fish won't be able to close its mouth as you can see it's not able to close its lips that means the pipe the syringe is in the right place now and that we can inject little bit of medication slowly yes it's going in the right place that's it it's spitting out some so that's a good sign that we have done the deworming or the infully and the rest of the liquid you can add it in the tank it's not going to damage anything okay so that was basically it and you can do this to any uh, of your fish there is no particular fish in this uh, world that does not suffer from internal parasites and infections bacterial infections and this medicine metrogel 400 mg really does a good job and works well you will see the improvement within 2 or 3 days hopefully i will give you guys an update on my instagram handle uh, aquamaniacs definitely do check out the instagram handle account because i do all the sale post over there and updates so i will update you with this goldfish of the recovery whether it recovered or did not recover okay stay tuned if you're new to the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe also check out my second channel which is for hindi people and hindi language it's called aqua maniacs india the link of the channel will be in the description down below also if you guys have any personal queries any pers uh, you know personal uh, urgent problems related to any kind of fish you can contact me on the number down below if you're from in india and the calls are chargeable at 100 rupees and the google pay number and paytm uh, number will be given down below you just have to uh, send the transaction a uh, screenshot and then give a call that's it basically for this video guys i hope you learned something from it and this works for me it should work for you until the next video a uh, peace